Hello everyone, I wanted to do something a little bit different. I know I've been uploading gameplay videos quite a bit, but I wanted to put together a beginner's guide to crowd control, uh, specifically hard crowd control. So what is hard CC? Well, hard CC is anything that prevents you as a player from moving, uh, attacking, casting abilities, anything of that nature. It's different from soft CC, uh, which will be a different video. But if you've ever wondered what the types of hard CC are, and what each of them do, that's what we're going to be going over today. So if you're a beginner, this is gonna be perfect for you to get introduced and answer that age old question, what the hell did I just get hit with? I'll be going over all of the hard CCs alphabetically. So the first one on the list is Banish. A banished unit is going to be removed from the battlefield essentially. Uh, you and your allies cannot hurt that player if he's banished, uh, and the same thing, the allies from the other team can't target that player at all. They are gone from the game essentially for the duration of the banish. So you'll see in this next clip, um, Freya is able to auto attack Odin up until Odin is banished. Uh, that next auto attack completely just goes underneath him and misses. Uh, and then once he comes back down from the banish, he is able to be attacked again. And here's a quick list of the gods with banishes. Next on the list is Disarm. Very, very simple. Um, a disarmed unit cannot use their basic attacks. So you'll see once I slow this clip down, I will hit this Neath with the disarm and the duration of that disarm, she is not able to auto attack me. Disarm, obviously very valuable against those auto attack gods. Here is a quick list of all the gods that have the disarm ability. The next hard CC we'll be talking about is called Disorient. A disoriented unit is unable to take any action and is turned in a random direction once you hit them. Uh, this is a pretty unique CC because to my knowledge there's only one god that can actually apply this uh, and that god is Mercury. So you'll see if I slow this down, uh, once this Odin is hit, he's spun around, there's a random direction, I can't really tell where he's going to go, and then he comes out of it at the end. The next CC on the list is called Fear. So a feared unit loses control and is gonna be forced to slowly run away from the source of the fear. That's not necessarily always from you. So you'll see in this uh, example here, the middle of that circle is the source of fear. So wherever that lands, the Odin is pushed away from it. Uh, you see here he'll run away from the fear, away from the God. But if I slow it down a little bit further here, I can drop this fear and actually use it to put Odin back towards me. So fear is a pretty unique ability. You can use it to either peel yourself or put your enemies in a bad position. Here are the list of gods with fear. Grab is the next hard CC we'll be talking about, and a grabbed unit is unable to take any action and is relocated by the caster. Um, that's very important because you are able to choose where to put the grabbed unit. It's kind of what distinguishes it from a, a pull specifically. Um, as you can see in this example, I am able to grab the Odin. So that grab is the actual action here of picking him up, right? Now I have him in my grasp. Same thing with the second Odin. Now I'm able to turn around and throw them specifically where I want them to go. So that's what makes grab a unique CC. You can choose where you want them. And here's the list of gods with grab. Intoxicate is the next hard CC on our list. An intoxicated unit is gonna have their vision distorted. They're gonna move erratically, but they will not be stopped from attacking or moving. So they're still going to be able to auto attack. They're still gonna be able to move. It's just that their movement ability is going to be hindered. It's almost like they're kind of stumbling around. Um, this is a, a good CC in terms of disruption or in terms of not allowing the enemy to secure things and not necessarily a great setup CC, uh, but Anyways, here is the list of gods that have the Intoxicate CC. Knockback is the next CC that we'll be talking about. A uh, knocked back unit is knocked away from the source, kind of similar to fear, and is unable to take any action during that knockback uh, action. So now again, you can see the source of the knockback is Aphrodite here, and she pushes that Guan Yu outside of the knockback range. Really good for peeling for yourself. Um, very defensive utility, but also has some offensive implications with other gods. Here's a list of those other gods that do have a knockback ability. 
The Knock Up CC is very similar to Knock Back, except for the Knocked Up unit is on a vertical plane, whereas the Knock Back unit was on a horizontal plane. So you see the Knock Up actually knocks that Odin up in the air. Uh, one of the most valuable CCs in Smite because Knock Up is not affected by diminishing returns, and your allies are able to attack that Knocked Up God. So here are the list of gods with the Knock Up in their kit. Madness is another hard crowd control where not a lot of gods have it in their kit, um, but the Madness effect will either force allied enemies to attack each other or to follow you harmlessly. Uh, so you see this Discordia here, this ability called Strife. It will, if you hit both of them in that rectangle, you see the two Odins actually fighting each other and they will do damage. Like I said, not that many gods have the ability, but here are the ones that do. Mesmerize is the next CC we'll be talking about, and a Mesmerized unit may not take any action at all. You might think that is very, very powerful, that's the best CC in the game, but the catch is that if they take any damage while they're Mesmerized, the god comes out of the Mesmerized state. So I'll replay this, these last couple clips and you can kind of see that in a, a better fashion. Uh, this Mesmerize, I don't hit the Odin, he stays Mesmerized the whole time, uh, and he can't do anything. The next clip, I'm going to mesmerize and then hit him with damage, which takes him out of that mesmerized state. So, that being said, here are all the gods that have the mesmerize CC. Polymorph is another unique CC in Smite. Uh, when you hit this CC, the unit under the effect is going to be transformed into an animal. They're going to be slowed, and they're not going to be able to attack or use abilities. They can move. So you'll see when I hit this Neath here, she is able to move and kind of track me and follow me, but not able to do any sort of auto attack or ability during that entire duration. So um, here are the list of gods with Polymorph. We briefly talked about pull a little bit when I went over uh, the grab CC, but a pull is different because when a unit is pulled, it's pulled specifically to the source of that crowd control. So you can see in this example, the Sylvanas, where he's standing, he hits the pull on the Odin, and the Odin is pulled specifically back towards him. He's not able to put that Odin somewhere specific. Um, here is the list of gods with the pull in their kit. We'll be taking a look at Silence as our next hard CC, and the Silence unit is unable to cast abilities, use relics, and consumables. Um, so you see here, this Guan Yu tries to use his Taolu Assault as an ability on Ganesha, uh, but once I hit that Silence, he stops. This is a great ability, uh, or a great CC against channeling abilities, and it also stops people from using relics to save themselves. So overall, a very, very strong hard CC. Here are the list of gods that have a Silence in their kit. Slippery Surface is very similar to Disorient in the fact that I can only think of one god that actually has this uh, CC, but a unit standing on this Slippery Surface is slowed down, they lose complete control of their movement, they can still attack and auto-attack, um, but they are not in control of where they're going. So you can see this Neath is kind of bouncing off the walls. Um, an even closer look, it does bounce off obstacles as well. So if I'm standing here, the Neath will bounce off me. She bounces off the wall until the Neath gets off of that slippery surface. One god only that has this CC, and that god is Scotty. The next and most popular hard CC in the game of Smite is a stun. So a stun unit, unable to move, can't use abilities, can't use items while they're stunned. Um, in this example, the Sun Wukong turns into the, the Tiger, and once he hits the Odin, you can see that that stun duration is that little white bar underneath. Honestly, tons of gods have this. There's more than 50 that have a stun, so kind of take your pick when it comes to stun gods. Taunt is the next hard CC we'll be talking about, and a taunted unit is going to be slowed and forced to chase and attack the caster. Uh, probably the most well-known person that utilizes Taunt as a CC is Athena. You can see here the Odin's trying to run away. I hit him with the Taunt. He's forced to turn around and start attacking me. So great offensive utility, great defensive utility, really good CC. Here's a list of the gods that are able to Taunt. Coming down to the final stretch of our hard CC guide, we have Tremble. A Trembling unit is going to move erratically toward the source of the Tremble for the duration. 
you can see when I start pounding the ground as Kavrakin, that, that ability does have a tremble. Uh, you can see it a little bit better when it's slow-mo, but when he's trembled, he is moving erratically kind of towards me, right? He's being pulled towards me a little bit, uh, and he can't necessarily control where he's going. So a very, very good disruptive ability. It's a great zoning tactic if you want to use tremble. It does kind of get take a little bit to get used to, uh, but once you have it in your arsenal, it's a great tool. So here are the gods with tremble. And that is it, the short, sweet beginner's guide to hard CC in Smite. If you learned something, uh, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you want to know about anything else, I wish I had more resources as a beginner when I was starting out in Smite, so feel free to ask those questions. I love to make videos on those topics. Uh, but again, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it.